Hey guys, welcome back. It is round four of the Rainbow Cup and it is the Yekske Derby with the Lions versus the Bulls. Always a big one, though the two teams are a little bit different at this stage. I think the Bulls are very good at this stage. The Lions are fighting. They have a couple of troubles at this stage. The front row for the Bulls is changed with Nyakani and Kaboka coming in to the front row. And they did such a good job last week off of the bench just annihilating that front row of the Sharks last week. So they do get a start alongside Grobelaar who's just a breakdown king at this stage as well. They are up against a good front row themselves in Saadi and Sitole. Last week against the Stormers no one really knew, knew who had the upper hand. They really proved what they can do against the Stormers as well. Fisaki playing against his previous team and the hooker as well. Then we get to the second row with Steenkamp and Norkia. A good combination. They're growing each week. Especially Norkia. Every week I say he's just so good. Still improving on himself as well. Still young as well. Ruben Skuman and Notnagel at number 5. You'll see there's not a lot of changes in this whole side. The whole only change in the side is at number 8 for Len Massain. Uh, coming in because of that injury uh, to Horn at number 8. So the Lions are going for continuity they say. I don't know, maybe a couple of bigger changes would have made things a bit better. But I think the biggest battle is that number 6 battle with Palser and Van Staden. We know what Van Staden can do at breakdown time. Palser, he looks like a new guy on the block when it comes to breakdown time as well. He just disrupted the game for the Stormers so many times. And that just kept the Lions in it the whole game with him at breakdown time. So I think that's a big battle. Then number 7, it's also a big battle with Alrich Lowe, who played most of last week's game from the bench, uh, versus Chituka. Both of them are number number 7s, putting their hands up for Springbok selection. Both of them wants to be in that squad, so it's also a big battle with two big carrying forwards. I think probably favouring Lowe at this stage. Then at number 8, like I said, Massain is at number 8 for the Lions. Vermeulen, the captain for the Bulls, have been doing, have been doing so well for them as well. Emrose Papir at number 9 versus Warner. I still think Van Abar should be starting last week again when he came on for them. Things just changed for them. The intensity just went up. Then at number 10, the biggest change for the Bulls is Morne Stein being rested. That is a big, big guy to have absent from the squad. At least Chris Smith has won a couple of games now against the Lions. Mostly when the Bulls do play the Lions these days, they do opt Chris Smith at number 10. Jordan Hendricks, he's the youngster who's also grabbing a lot of attention in South Africa at the moment. He'll want to prove this week again what he can do. It looks like he has a couple of uh, tricks up his sleeve as well with that uh, offloads he's getting through. Birgit Wittendahl playing against his previous team that he has captained before as well. Up against Cornell Hendricks, so that will be a fiery battle as well. Wittendahl will want to prove what he can do against them. Though Hendricks has been so brilliant for the Bulls just stepping through everyone. Talk about stepping Similani, same thing as well for the Lions. If you do cut the ball out before getting to Similani, the Lions backline does have a couple of troubles. So Janse van Vieren will probably try to do that. Uh, when you do get out wide, it is Makwane and Skosan for the Lions. Out wide, they haven't done too much. Makwane last week did uh, get a couple of balls though and he did score a couple of tries as well for them. Tambwe and Verity Am out wide for the Bulls. Tambwe, he also scores a couple of tries when he gets the ball. Verity Am, actually a fullback, but he's so dangerous at 11 as well. Unfortunately, we won't see a whole game of Stravano Jacobs as well. I do like the looks of him. I do like what he's doing on the park, uh, park as well. But Verity Am, just a dangerous player as well. Also coming from the Griquas. David Creel at number 15 versus Ievie Fulyun, both of them. Former Stormers players, both of them will want to prove what they can do. Yevier Fulyun, I've been judging him quite hard recently. Last week he did not have a bad game. Very good under the high ball. Kicking probably still not at its best, but he was good on counter attack. The two benches, I think the Bulls are probably stronger when it comes to the bench. With Skalke, Rasmus, Stienekamp and Smith. That number 17 and 18 has started most of the season so far and has been scrumming away every opposition they've gotten. Ntlabakanya and Dreyer might have a tough task ahead of them when they do come on. Dreyer is a strong scrummager. Number 18, I thought, last week did struggle when he come, came on against the Stormers. Uh, PJ Boeta at number 18 against Erasmus. Willem Alberts, big name for the Lions also to bring on. That's probably their biggest name on the bench for them as well, along with a guy like Mornay van der Berg. Fred Zeilinger and then Ras. 
those are the guys who really strengthened them. But if you compare it to the bench of the Bulls with a guy like Nizam Kar, Zach Berger, uh, those are game changers. Strivano Jacobs as well, he can just score a try from anything. And then Swart is also going to get a bit of game time for the Bulls. Guys, getting into a prediction time for this game, the Bulls have won the last three games that these two teams have played. Uh, they beat the Lions by 13 points last time out. I think it might be a bit more this time. Just a little bit. I think the Bulls to win it by 15 points. Let me know your prediction down in comments below. Also, check out these videos next to me. Hit the subscribe button if you do like the channel. And then I'll see you for the next one. Cheers. Bye.